Hello everyone. So we got a new puzzle here. So let's see what is inside then, shall we? Now I've just opened the box. So let's see what's inside. Oh, oh just what I was expecting. These lovely bobbleheads of Alice in Wonderland. Fantastic detail on all of them. It's just perfect. So, let's see what they're like one at a time then. Right on time. <laughs> we have the white rabbit here. Let's shake it like jelly. Yes, we know you care about punctuality, but don't worry, we won't keep you long, Mr. Rabbit. Very neat detail. Here we got his name plaque and pocket watch and the umbrella. Yeah. Absolutely flawless. So, yeah. That's all there is to say about it. Just completely flawless. So. That's the white rabbit down, and now it's on to Alice. Splendid detail, especially with the hair and the dress. And while I think what I like about this really is basically how uh, those of you who are familiar with the Sir John Tenniel, forgive the mispronunciation, so illustrations, um, she's in the same pose as she is, like looking up at the Cheshire cat in the tree with her arms uh, crossed behind her back. Um, yeah, we got another, her plaque, her name is on the plaque there, and, and, and her face is very accurate to the character, and the, and that, that bow headband here, the, I'm guessing it's supposed to be a reference to the one she wears in Through the Looking Glass, and, but yeah, it, it still works either way. Uh, brilliant work and detail on Alice. And that's Alice down, so now it's on to the Mad Hatter. Now this is one of my favourite uh, bobbleheads here. My most favourite, if anything, and why do I say that? Because from what I mentioned with the Sir John Tenniel illustrations, they've really captured it here with the Mad Hatter, with his face, the big head, the nose, and the swervy hairstyle, as well as the checked suit. I like the detail of the tea bag in the mug as well. So I'll just turn around a little. His head waving about for as mad as he is. His name's on the plaque too, though a little chunk of the M has been missed a little, but it doesn't matter. Counts with the madness, doesn't it? Since we're all mad here. Speaking of we're all mad here, last but not least, the Cheshire Cat. Once again, fantastic detail based on the illustrations. The eyes, the grin, the stripes, amazing. I especially love the stand here where we have the book and we got the plaque name, the name on the plaque here. I just find it quite fitting with the, with the him being standing by the book to be standing sitting on the on, on top of the, the box because he's basically like Alice's mentor, although he only appears twice to her. But yeah, really fun, a brilliant design. Overall, a brilliant purchase. All of them well spent. The brand, Funko, I don't know if it's the same Funko Pop brand, but if it is, then shout out to them all. Just absolutely brilliant detail and really capture the detail and characters from the whimsicality of Wonderland.